What is going on all you beautiful people? Today we are watching Forrest Gump for the first time. I actually remember having the VHS of Forrest Gump as a kid, but looking at the VHSs that weren't, you know, mine, I saw Black Hawk Down, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump didn't seem appealing to me, so I picked Black Hawk Down when I was like six years old and I watched that shit. It was crazy. But yeah, don't get me wrong, I do know like some things from Forrest Gump because like the run Forrest run, that was like a meme everywhere. And then like they made like a kid song that that I forgot. There was like a rap song about it. But anyways, I'm excited to see the context of uh, where run Forrest run actually comes from. So uh, yeah, the fuck was that? Do you guys see the ghost? Anyways, without further ado, Forrest Gump. Let's get it. Man, I see those benches and I'm reminded of Brooks. <sighs> God. Damn. Dirty ass shoes and a clean ass suit. I mean, okay, never mind. I was about to say he probably has them in his suitcase, but okay. Okay. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Oh my god, I've heard that before. So this is this where it comes from? Those must be comfortable shoes. No, I well I guess technically it comes from his mom, right? My feet hurt. Well, I'm always said it. there's an awful lot you could tell about a person by their shoes. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. Open your eyes now. How do it feel? I assume he was born with some as strong as type of I've defect. Seen, but his back is Crooked as a politician. Oh, some scoliosis type. Now, oh, dude. Baby, okay. Mama okay. named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. He started up this club called the Ku Klux Klan. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Since it was just me and Mama and we had all these empty rooms, Mama decided to let those rooms out. That's how me and Mama got money. Mama was a real smart Monday. Um, I, I gotta ask, and I don't mean to sound rude, but is he like, you know, kind of slow? You're the same as everybody else. Your boy's different. Well, we're all different, Mr. Hancock. I want to show you something, Mrs. Gump. The state requires a minimum IQ of 80 to attend public school, Mrs. Gump. He's oh, going to have to go to special school. There must be something can be done. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? Where are you going with this? He's on vacation. Jesus Christ. You don't say much, do you? Jesus, man. It looked easy, but what's vacation mean? Vacation? Where book. daddy went. Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. Oh, shit. Anyway, we didn't mind. Our house was never empty. There was always folks coming and going. Folks are fucks coming and going. What is this? A come and go brothel? I mean, I guess a brothel is come and go. One time, a young man was staying with us, and Boy. he had him a guitar. Forrest, I told you not to bother this nice young man. 
Oh, no, that's all right, man. I, I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Say, man, sh show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Slow it down some. Bitch. Is that Elvis Presley? <laughs> Get the fuck up out of here. One night, me and mom was out shopping, and we walked right by Benson's Furniture and Appliance Store. And guess what? <laughs> no way. Honestly, this is so cool. And I'm only like 11 minutes in, and I'm getting the same feeling that I got from Back to the Future. It must be hard being a king. You know, it's funny how you remember some things, but some things you can't. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. I'm Dorothy Harry. Slate's taken. Well, clearly he can see that. Taken. You lying bitch. I can't sit here. Why is that? You know, it's funny what a young man recollects. You guys are assholes. Because okay. I don't remember being born. <laughs> uh, <I> <laughs> Neither do I. But I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice in the wide world. You can sit here if you want. I had never seen oh. anything so beautiful in my life. His first crush. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm honestly loving this. Next to Mama, no one ever talked to me or asked me questions. Are you stupid or something? I'm as <laughs> stupid as a stupid does. She helped me learn how to read. And I showed her how to swing. Just stay a little longer. For some reason, Jenny didn't ever want to go home. Okay, Jenny, I'll stay. Now, my mom always told me that miracles happen every day. Some people don't think so, but they do. Shit. Hey, dummy! Oh my god, are we throwing rocks at this motherfucker? Bruh. Run, Forrest, run away! Hurry! Run, Forrest, run! Run, Forrest! Nah, dude, that's where it's from. Him getting thrown rocks at him and having to run in braces? Nah, dude, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh my god, look at him. He's running like Terry Fox. Oh, come on. I was having so much fun earlier. Like, I was having a good time. Like, it was like, it was like. Oh, shit. Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. So his scoliosis is fixed. I can run like the wind blows. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. Oh, bro, that's awesome. That that almost makes me want to fucking cry. Oh, dude. I can't be the only one who had an image of him just falling flat on his face. Now, remember how I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home? Her daddy was some kind of a farmer. Jenny? He was a very loving man. He was always Jenny? kissing and touching her and her sister. Oh, God. Oh, man. I had a feeling and it went there. Jenny wasn't on the bus to go to school. Jenny! Come on! Jenny! Cry with me, Forrest. Cry with me. Dear God. Mama always said that God is mysterious. He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Oh, hey, cool. Quit it. Run, for it. run. Bro, they they still on their usual bullshit? Throwing rocks? Are you serious? Y'all didn't have a character development stage? Oh shit. Forrest is faster than your car? Oh my lord, and he's an athlete? Holy shit. Oh no, we on a stray. It's over. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. They're about to sign him. No way. No that way. That last false gum, coach. That's the local idiot. And can oh. you believe it? I got to go to college too. No way they did. <laughs> no way. Dude, this is awesome. I'm fucking loving this. Fuck. Oh my god, you guys are assholes, but I love this. Oh my god, he's thooming. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, where are you going? Bruh. Oh shit. Bruh, did, <laughs> did no one tell him to stop? Come on, man. Federal troops enforcing a court order integrated the University of Alabama today. <laughs> and so at day's end, the students Jimmy Hood and Vivian Malone had been signed up for summer classes. Ma'am, you dropped your book. A few years later, that angry little man at the schoolhouse door ran for president. <laughs> but somebody thought that it wasn't. What the fuck? But he didn't die. I'm assuming this is all moments in American history that he's being a part of. I remember when that happened. I was in college. Did you go to a girls' college or to a girls and boys together college? Because Jenny went to a college just for girls. But I go and visit her every chance I got. Okay, okay. This is so cool. Because I'm honestly thinking. That's where this is going. He's going to be part of a lot of major events throughout American history. I'm so with this. Okay. Okay. Damn. Damn. He unknowingly just fucked things up. But I mean, he, he know he means well. Fuck. Me <sighs> I'm sorry. Come on, come on. <laughs> Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. Uh. Okay, what are we doing? Are we about to fuck Thomas Hank or Forrest Gump? Okay, no, we're just, you know, giving him his first experience. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Oh, oh, oh. God, he came already. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Oh, you know, he feels uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, no, he just probably got a... <laughs> I'm probably just talking too much. Okay, this is... What, what the hell's wrong with you guys? I played so much football. They even put me on a thing called the All America Team, where you get oh, to be no the way. president of the United States. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got to pay. Oh my god. Sometime later, somebody shot that nice young president, and a few years after that, somebody shot his little brother too. Holy shit. I, I didn't know about that. I'm not American, so, like, bruh, this is... Holy shit. <laughs> Took out his bro bro, too. Mama was so proud. Congratulations, son. Have you given any thought to your future? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mama, oh. step in. Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Nobody gives a hook shit who you are, No fucking way. The man's in the army. Get the fuck up out of here. Okay, cool. Sit down if you want to. My given name is Benjamin Buford Blue. People call me Bubba. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> so Bubba was from Biola Battery, Alabama, and his mama cooked shrimp. And her mama before her cooked shrimp. 
her mama before her mama cooked shrimp too. Oh, Bubba's no. family knew everything oh, there no. was to know about the shrimping business. Go! <laughs> What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell <laughs> me, <laughs> drill sergeant? That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a goddamn IQ of 160. You are goddamn <laughs> gifted, Private Gump. Everything goes all right. Two men, shrimp in 10 hours, less what you spend on gas. You can be done, drill sergeant! Yeah. Jesus H. Christ. This is a new company record. If it wouldn't be a waste of such a damn fine enlisted man, I'd recommend you for OCS, Private Gump. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Now, disassemble your weapon and continue. Get the hell out of here. Are we going to fast forward an hour into the movie? He's a general. You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it. Bacon, Man, the only problem with shrimp though is the poop line. Let's let's be honest, shrimp is fire. But that poop line, <laughs> nah. Hey, come, get a load of the tits on her. Oh no, <laughs> I'm about to experience his first Playboy experience. Oh my lord, is is that Jenny? Turns out. Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. And she was thrown out of school. Let's give a big round of applause to the luscious Bobby Dylan. Before her dream had come true. She sleeps in the sand. She was a folk singer. Oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, stupid jerk! Oh, I'm singing a here song here. Here we go. Oh my god. That shit hurts. You keep trying to rescue me all the time. I can't help it. I love you. Forrest, you don't know what love is. What the hell? You remember that time we prayed, Forrest? You think I could fly off this bridge? Get the fuck up out of here. No, get your... Get your local ass down. What the fuck are you doing? What do you mean, Jenny? Yeah, yo. Grab her ass right now. Nothing. Nah, Juice, he's wildin', bro. Get out of here. Oh, Wait, man. Forrest, you stay away from me. Can I, I ride? Where you going? I don't care. In the truck. Oh, so my bye God. Bye, dude, dude. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. They sent me to Vietnam. Fuck, he's going to be part of the Vietnam. Fucking. Bruh, nah, dude, this is crazy. Just if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Okay. And just like that, she was gone. <laughs> Bruh, I don't. I know this is about Forrest Gump, but I don't like her life decisions, to be honest. And <laughs> here we go. Vietnam. Man, this took a turn I was not expecting it to go. Like on some real shit. You know, after we win this war, we take over everything, we can get American shrimpers to come out here and shrimp these waters. We just shrimp all the time, man. So much shrimp. Man's already thinking about calling us. You must be my FNG. <laughs> Warning, sir. Oh, get your hands down. Do not salute me. Goddamn snipers all around this area who love to grease an officer. Lieutenant Dan sure knew his stuff. He was from a long, great military tradition. Somebody in his family had fought and died in every single American war. <sighs> Is that a foreshadow, though? Fuck. Man, we are in Vietnam. It's either. It's either a continuation of him or Bubba. Unless there's another person that comes up with a name. I you mean a character with a name. <laughs> now, I don't know much about anything, but I think some of America's best young men served in this war. There was Dallas from Phoenix. Okay, there's another named character. He's gonna die. He's gonna take over. Cleveland. He was from Detroit. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two deaths. Hey, Tex. Tex. 
Oh, there's three deaths. Oh, shit. We got a UAV. Well, I don't remember where techs come from. Fire in the hole! Yep. Check out that hole. And there oh was always something to do. One day, it started raining. And it didn't quit for four months. And sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up from underneath. <laughs> Shoot. It even Bruh. rained at night. Hey, Force. Hey, Bubba. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? Oh, shit. That'd be dope. Okay. We can just live right on the boat. We ain't got to pay no rent. Man, I'm telling you, 50-50. That's a fine idea. Bubba. Except, except the part of living on a boat. Hell no. My thalassophobia could never. Fuck all that shit. Oh man, I love the music in this movie. <laughs> shit. Oh no. Okay, here we go, baby. It's on. Then he told me to. Pretty soon I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. Bubba. Yeah, real shit. You you literally just passed him. My best good friend. I had to make sure that he was okay. Oh no, don't tell me that he's the one that that dies. Bro, on some real shit, I really thought from the foreshadow Bubba. it was gonna be the lieutenant you know, on my guy. Way back to find Bubba. No well, that was fucking boy, way, dude. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, well, shit. Let me go back to my stance. <laughs> and every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, "Help me, Forrest. Help me." I started to get scared that I might never find Bubba. <laughs> I know my position is danger close. We got Charlie all over this area. I gotta have those fast movers in here now. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, God. dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. You leave me here. Get away. Just leave me. Oh, ah! Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Where the hell do you think you're going? I got an airstrike inbound right now. They're gonna nape the whole area. I gotta find Bubba! Holy shit. Oh my god, we dropping napalm and he's still going in? Nah, bro. <laughs> man, God bless this man. If, if Bubba's alive and he made it out of that ambush. Okay, Boris. The fuck up out of here, bro. Yeah. Man. If I'd have known this was going to be the last time me and Bubba was going to talk. I'd have thought of something better to say. Why did this happen? You got shot. I want to go home. Bubba was going to be a shrimp and boat captain, but instead he died right there by that rhythm they had now. Shit. That's all I have to say about that. The only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks is the ice cream. Lieutenant Dane, I got you some ice cream. Lieutenant Dane, ice cream. Bro, I mean, you know what? At least he took it from him. 
Oh, shit. Harper? That's why he's acting up. Or not really acting up. He probably just wanted to die because he knew he wouldn't be the same. Bro, oh man, oh man. Plus, the fact that he lost his platoon. And honestly, I can't imagine having to carry something like that. You know how to play this? Come on, let me show you. For some reason, ping pong can very natural to me. No way. The way this is turning out, he's gonna become a ping pong champion or something. He looked like a duck in water. I played ping pong so much, I even played it in my sleep. What the hell? Now, you listen to me. You cheated me. I had a destiny. I was supposed to die in the field with honor. That was my destiny, and you cheated me out of it. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still are. Your mind is still there. Brad, what the hell's going on? Your destiny is not to fucking die on the field. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a tradition. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Guess what, Lieutenant Dan? They want to give me a. Ma oh, President shit. President Johnson awarded four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services. I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, son. I'd kind of like to see that. Oh, my God. Tell us a little bit about the war, man. Well, there was only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. In Vietnam, your <laughs> How are you talking to get in this goddamn boiler? Can't hear you. Oh no. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Forrest. Let's get the fuck up out of here. That's the right on, man. Oh my god. She made her way over here with a hippie crew. Cool. Jenny and me was just like peas and carrots again. Even introduced me to some of her new friends. Shut that blonde man and get your white ass away from that window. Don't you know we in a war here? Is this the Black Panthers? Yes, we are against all these racist and imperial dog acts. Oh my lord. Oh shit. The man held him back there. This is a white on white crime. <laughs> Yo. She told me about all the traveling she'd done. Anybody want to go to San Francisco? I'll go. Far out. It was a very special night. For the um, what? <laughs> Wish you wouldn't go, Jenny. I have to, Forrest. We have very different lives, you know. I want you to You're giving her the Medal of Honor? For real? Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. I'll always be your girl. Then why are you leaving? Honestly. Just like that. She okay. was gone. When I got home, I was a national celebrity. Uh, here he is, Forrest Gump, right here. Yep. <laughs> Forrest Gump, 
John Lennon. John Lennon, dude. Welcome home. Okay, tell us, um, what was China like? People hardly got nothing at all. No possessions? <laughs> and in China, they never go to church. No religion, too? Oh. Hard to imagine. Well, it's easy if you try, Dick. <laughs> they gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now that's Lieutenant Diane. Oh. My love. Lieutenant Diane! They gave you an imbecile and makes a fool out of himself in front of the oh. whole damn country. The Congressional Medal of Honor. Why are you so uptight about it? Suck it and cry. Hey, 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 I'm walking here. Ah, get out. Get out. <laughs> I'm walking in. Yo, what a fucking douche. We're at approximately 45th Street in New York City at 1 Astor Plaza. Shrimping boats? Who gives a shit about shrimping boats? I gotta buy me one of them shrimp boats as soon as I have some money. I made me a promise to Bubba in Vietnam. No way he's going to continue on with the business. He'd be the Catmo Shrimp Boat and I'd be his first mate. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Gilligan, the day that you are a Shrimp Boat Captain, I will come and be your first mate. That's the day I'm an astronaut. Oh, man. <laughs> Is she thieving? Oh, my God. What's your problem? What did your friend do for something? What did you say? What did your friend do for something? Hey, don't call him stupid. Okay, let's fucking go, baby. I love the fact that Lieutenant Dan is sticking up for him. Like, bruh. You freak your eyes, Luca, you freak. Oh my god, bruh. Dude, they crazy. Because the fact that their OnlyFans would sell for like $2. I'm sorry I ruined your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Diane. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> Happy New Year, Gump. So are you enjoying yourself in our nation's capital, young man? Yes, sir. Well, where are you staying? The actor, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Call the hotel. Oh, my God. oh, no, 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 no. I know the much nicer hotel. It's brand new. Security, Frank Wells. Yeah. And so what, what hotel is you that? You might want to send a maintenance man over to that office across the way. Because in flashlights, they're keeping me awake. Oh, shit. Thank you. The Watergate I shall hotel? resign the presidency effective Watergate. at noon tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I, I'm not American, so I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised about any of the names. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba, and I always try to keep my promise. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Okay, okay. We have our shrimping boat. Let's get Lieutenant Dan. Now, Bubba told me everything he knew about shrimping, but you know what I found out? Shrimping is tough. Hey, you ever think about naming this old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. Is that why you haven't been catching fish or shrimp? But there was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wild Jenny. world. I was gonna say the Bubba Express, but okay. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. Here's Jenny now. Oh my lord, she's doing coke. Coca-Cola. I hope that whatever she was doing made her happy. I bet it did. Oh man, she's on some real hardcore shit. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? No way. Here we go. Oh man, he looks good to be honest. He doesn't look like, you know, he's been on 
Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Your boat? Well, well, Captain Forrest Gump. I had to see this for myself. <laughs> I told you that I'd be your first mate. Well, here I am. I am a man. Here we go, way. man. I got chills. Over there! They're over there! Get, get on the wheel! That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! Okay. No shrimp. Not yet, but we're gonna get there. We gonna get there. How are we gonna find them? Maybe you should just pray for shrimp. <laughs> and that's what he did. <laughs> I love so this. So I went to church every Sunday. Where the hell's this God of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that. Because right then, God showed up. <laughs> came through here yesterday destroying nearly everything in its path in fact only one shrimping boat actually <laughs> survived the storm louise louise okay. forest after that shrimping was easy yeah i bet <laughs> nice oh my god the only Since fishing boat in town let's get it shrimp, shrimp cocktails and oh my god and we were the only boat left standing bubba got shrimps what they got so, so, so how's the business? We got a whole bunch of boats, twelve jennies. Twelve jen? Oh, yo! Bubba dude, it's a household. Nah, dude, this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. We were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> he doesn't believe it. Well, I thought it was a very lovely story. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. And let me tell you something about Lieutenant Dane. Forrest, I never thanked you for saving my life. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's letting himself feel. The emotional side, I guess. I mean, I guess he's been always doing it. Bro, what the fuck? You have no legs. <laughs> to fucking tread water. <laughs> oh well, technically you can do that. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh shit. For the second time in 17 days, President Ford escaped possible assassination today. Holy Base shit. To Base to GD1. He is indisposed at the moment. His mama says. Oh no. Dude, no. <laughs> Hi, Forrest. Why are you dying, Mama? It's my time. Something we're all destined to do. What's my destiny, Mom? Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. Though he did take care of my Bubba Gump money, he got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Is that so Apple? then I got a call from him <laughs> saying we don't oh have to worry God. about money no more. Now, Mama said there's only so much fortune a man really needs. Oh, dude. <laughs> he built them a new church. That's dope. That's honestly so dope. Go medical center. <laughs> and even though Bubba was dead, I gave Bubba's mama Bubba's share. No way. <laughs> you know what? That's awesome, man. She didn't have to work <laughs> in nobody's kitchen no more. No way, Jenny's just... Oh, okay. Okay, man, I actually want to see what Jenny's been up to because I assume since we mentioned her, she's going to be coming back into the picture any minute now. And then, she was there. 
Okay, okay. Here we go. I did all the talking. Jenny most of the time was, was real quiet. Is, is that our old house? What? Why are you barefoot? Oh man. Fuck, man. I mean, I guess from an early age, because of the trauma she went through, that's why her life choices were what they were. Every day, oh, man. I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. And well, we was like family, Jenny and me. <laughs> okay, so do they end up together, though? That is my question. Cause I'm here for like her being here because like yo, she's healing and I'm with it. But do y'all end up together? Will you marry me? Oh my lord. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'd make a good husband, Jenny. You don't wanna marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? Bro, I, don't, I think it's, uh, I don't think I'm it's not a smart that, man. bro. I don't think she loves herself enough. But I know what love is. Okay, here we go. I guess something in her mind changed. But you won't marry him. So we're just gonna have sex. <laughs> right? And you're leaving. You're leaving. Where are you running off to? I'm not running. Bro. So it was a goodbye fuck. That's what we just gave him. I do I I don't understand. I honestly I mean I guess I do understand because she knows she knows him and she knows herself <laughs> and I guess her mind she, she thinks like yo it's never gonna work out because of who I am and who he is and like their values don't really align maybe or morals I, I guess <laughs> but damn what are you doing oh no are we are we running after her do, do you even know where she went that day for no particular reason I decided to go for a little run. So I ran. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lord have mercy, dude. For the fourth time on his journey across America, Forrest Gump, the gardener from Greenbow, Alabama, is about to cross the Mississippi River again today. I'll be damned. Sir, Forrest? where are you running? Why are you running? Are you doing I this mean, for world peace? She looks good. She looks like she hasn't relapsed into her old ways. I mean, that's that's a plus, right? Good for her. Holy shit. I just felt like running. <laughs> I got a letter from Jenny wondering if I could come down and see her. You don't need to take a bus. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. Five or six blocks? That's still, that's, that's still a walk. I mean, I guess from someone my era, that's long. But hey! Okay, okay, here we go. How you doing? So Come in. Come in. I got we're now in the present, oh, no longer reliving the past. Okay, okay, the here house. we go. Yeah, it's messy right now. I just got off work. Thank you. I ate some. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love Forrest, man. Of your clippings and everything. There you are. You really made a scrapbook? I ran a long way. You're like his mother, Whatever. honestly. But well, obviously, you're gonna end up Forrest, being his wife, right? You who? Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, you. Um, listen, 
next week my schedule changes, so I'll be able to. But thanks. No problem. I gotta go, Jen. I'm double packed. Okay. Bye. Thanks. She has a kid now. Okay, so can't be his wife. Because she's probably with someone. His name's Forrest. Like me. Wow. I named him after his daddy. His daddy. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that one time you guys had sex? Is, is he smart? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. Man. Was. Get the fuck out of here. Was he worried that he was like him? Get the fuck up out of here. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Holy shit, dude. That makes me want to cry because like people in the world feel like that. <laughs> oh, man. So what's the plan or not? Are you guys getting together or what? I'm sick. Oh shit, you're dying? Get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Some kind of virus. And the, the doctors don't, they don't know what it is and there isn't anything they can do about it. Oh my lord, man. Would you marry me? No way. Lieutenant Dang. Man got legs. Looks good. Lieutenant Looks good. Dang. Hello, Forrest. Man. Why couldn't we give the man with half legs a chair? Okay. I love you. You died on a Saturday morning. And I had you placed here under a tree. <sighs> Man. Mama always said dying was a part of life. I sure wish it was. I miss you, Jenny. If there's anything you need, I won't be far away. A beautiful movie man what a life forest had man he didn't really cause any trouble he just did what he was supposed to do ended up in war somehow i honestly thought his mom was gonna step in at that moment and just like yo just not for my son but damn tom hanks did an amazing job as forrest gump that southern accent texas accent dude that was strong as hell and he pulled it off i I assume he did because I'm not from Texas, so I don't know what they really sound like. I wish they had like the longer time together. Same with Bubba. I wish he didn't die, but man, that's life. And like the life that they were living in, man, you guys were in war. So like, what do you guys were, you know, bound to die? And technically kind of like what um, Forrest Gump said, this movie is like a box of chocolates. Like I didn't know I was going to cry. I was gonna laugh and get excited and mad at certain points. I don't even know if I was mad, but like, this was such a good movie. Voice over Ralphie here. Uh, I just wanted to add, cause for some reason my dumbass didn't talk about the other characters. But man, Bubba was such a sweet soul, like Forrest was. And I'm not gonna lie, him dying was really upsetting, man. And like, even though his role was really small, well not really, it was really impactful. So hats off to the actor for Bubba. He did an amazing job. And the same thing goes for the actress for Jenny. Like even though I was getting upset at her life decisions, I ultimately understood why she did those things and why she chose drugs as her literal escape. But I'm glad she was able to settle down at the end before ultimately passing away. What did he even what did what she what did she even die from? Like what let me go search this up. She died from fucking AIDS? 
And yo, man, what a turn for Lieutenant Dan. You can see his hatred for life after the war to becoming actual friends with Forrest instead of acquaintances. You know, that really changed his outlook on life, you know? Forrest saved him with the bubblegum shrimp, and he ultimately did it in return when he invested in Apple for him. Which was, you know, it's beautiful to see, to be honest. But anyways, that has been my reaction to Forrest Gump. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. And uh, till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.